What's up everyone? This is Aditya. Welcome back to my channel. And today, actually you guys are in treat. I'm going to show you guys this building, the 10 unit building. Actually, this is seven and that's three units. And that's a Riverside, on Riverside. My client got this one a couple of days ago and now he's already started doing some renovations. It's a burr project, but in a bigger scale. So let's let's walk through the property and let's get to know the numbers from the owner and let's see what he's willing to do in this building so you know maybe who knows if you're looking to do something like this this can help you to get some ideas stay tuned so let's go in and check out the property Hey, Rin, hey, how hey are guys. you? Good, how are you? Good, good. So, are you ready to show us the property? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so first of all, guys, this is Adrian, uh, who is actually the building owner. Yes. Hold on, let me take it this way. Yep, so, how long have you been pushing this property? This one, we closed five days ago, I think. Five days ago. <laughs> and we're just about to wrap up demo now. Oh man, I'm super excited because you know, this is one of my favorite building that I have sold so far. So yeah. cannot wait to see. Um, yeah. Can you give us a tour and you know, while we talk about the numbers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, why don't we start down here? Yep. So they already started the demolition. So there's, there's seven units in total in this building. Mm -hmm. um, the good thing about it was four of the seven units are, are vacant, vacant mm -hmm. which is good. As you guys know, it takes a long time to get tenants out. Yeah. So it's good to be able to start right away. That's a good side. The bad thing is, on the mortgage side of things, it also made it a lot more challenging because there's vacancies. So yep. it's a bit of a pros and cons thing. So good, we can get started quick, but it took us a long time to get the financing because of the vacancy, especially nowadays, the banks are really because tight. Because of the COVID. Exactly. Yep. They don't want to see any vacancies. It doesn't matter how much income you have. If they see vacancy in the building, uh, chances they are they're going to say no. So especially because of commercial element exactly exactly so, so uh, just as someone who doesn't know anything about the building um can you just give us a, a rundown like how much you purchased for yeah so we bought it for 1.1 million 1.1 and yeah. it's 10 units and there's that uh, yeah you're right so there's 10 units in total this mm -hmm. is a seven unit building that we're in and then and there's uh, a three unit to side yeah the good thing is um our plan with that one is actually most likely gonna, we're gonna tear it down in the next year or so. Okay. And we're gonna build a uh, another building similar to size to this. I spoke Ooh. to the city briefly. What do you mean similar, like seven units? Similar, at least seven units, probably the same height and the same density. Wow. Um, but we might be able to fit a couple more units here depending on how efficient we make the layout. Yeah. But that's honestly, that's what attracted me most about this is mm -hmm. not only do we have an existing income producing asset, there's also, once we refinance this, there's going to be a, basically a free piece of land that we can redevelop something else on. Wow, that's which is, crazy. <laughs> yeah, so that's why we really, that's why I, I was really drawn to this, this, mm -hmm. uh, this project. So, seven units on this building, um, how many bedroom units each? So, uh, we're in the basement right now. This is a one bed, one bath. Mm -hmm. So there's two of them in the basement. Okay. And then there's four two bed, one bath units on okay. the two floors above. And on the highest floor, there's a three bed, one bath unit. That's my favorite unit. <laughs> yeah, that one's got a, quite the view, yeah. So what are you planning to do in this unit, like one bedroom units? So this one, we literally just, just finished demo a couple hours ago. Um, what we're gonna do is nothing crazy because it's actually in pretty decent shape. The walls mm -hmm. are in good shape. The walls actually painted nice already. So it's really gonna be, we're gonna put a new set of kitchen in here. Um, there used to be a pony wall right here. Mm -hmm. We knocked that out and we're gonna put a, I think this is a five by three island. So you can comfortably see about two to three people. So you're gonna make it a semi open concept? Exactly, as open as we can be, right? This we're is gonna, my favorite part. So you're giving instructions for the building. Yeah, this is, this is one thing I learned is it's always good to be clear with contractors. Yeah, yep. um, and obviously I also marked up kind of on the floor exactly where each cabinet is going to go, just so there's no confusion. Yep, it's pretty nasty right now. Yeah, right now it looks pretty <laughs> nasty, but I think it's one of those things where once you put some new cabinetry, new flooring, new paint, it's going to really freshen up the place. So and pretty much you're going to do all the TLC work. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And how much are you like? 
predicting that your expect ex expenses will be to complete these four units? So these four units um, we had well, for the entire building for all seven units we had a budget of about one hundred and thirty thousand. One hundred and thirty thousand for all seven units. For all seven units, so for oh, okay. is probably about I'd say about ninety is what we had budget. Okay. Probably so a little bit more than what most mm -hmm. people would do. Most people would see something like this and probably just do some cosmetic stuff, but we really want to put some nice finishes in here because this is a long-term asset for us. So we're so, willing to. I, I, why is that? I I, I know. One of the reasons that you know people think that oh it's anyways going to be rental, right? Why do you want to put some nice finishes? That's the thing. That honestly, that's one thing that really bugs me. And people say, oh, it's a rental, so you don't have to put nice finishes. You can just slap whatever, and people will live in it. But yeah. to me, if you're looking to hold this long term, you get what you pay for. If you put really cheap flooring in, it's gonna get scratched up. You're gonna have to replace it in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And if you run the numbers that way, it's pretty much the same. So I like to spend, and we're not looking, to, we're not putting real marble or anything like that, but we yeah. want to put durable, good quality finishes. Um, and I think the cost is going to be worth it. You know, even if we get an extra 200 bucks on rent, yeah. you no, cap that, it's, it's 100%. On top worth it. of that, you have a prime location. Yes. Right? So if, if you make it nicer, you will attract more good quality tenants. Exactly, yeah. That, that's a really good point because if you put cheap finishes, you're going to get people that are not going to take care of your property. But you put yeah. nice stuff in, there's a better chance you get good tenants that are actually going to take care of the stuff because they see how much work you put in and how much care you put in. Yeah. So hopefully they'll be able to return that to the property too. Yep. And also one cool thing about you guys, you're from Vancouver, right? I am, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because I... Um, I'm in Vancouver. Um, I actually I used to work for a real estate developer as well, so I'm, I'm in the real estate business. Okay. Um, my goal was always to do development back in Vancouver, but as I'm sure everyone knows, it's way too expensive out there. So, do you own any buildings in Vancouver? Not buildings. We own apartment unit. Apartment unit. Okay. Yeah, but oh, not, you mean not like apartment. a condo unit. Yeah, condo units, but okay, not okay. but not apartment building. So, is this your biggest project? Absolutely. So, why did what really drove you from Vancouver to Windsor? The numbers. <laughs> the numbers, answer, the numbers made it. sense. You know, it's uh, sometimes you just be emotional about it, but the numbers really made sense in Windsor. Mm -hmm. um, I always tell people what I could have bought with 1.1 million in Vancouver. It's like a two-bedroom condo in downtown. My God! Here, here <laughs> we, we have a potential asset that could generate you know income for us for the next 20, 30 years, and we get another piece of land. So, to me, it's it's a now now that I look back on it, it's a no-brainer, but mm -hmm. uh, it. it it was a little challenging in the beginning. It's yeah, a, yeah. Like it's, it's a big purchase, right? It's one point one million dollars. Yeah, and, and how much money, like your liquid cash, you put it into? We so because of how challenging the, the financing was for us, because of the the fact that there's vacancy, um, the highest offer we got was for a sixty five percent loan to value. Okay. But because the rate on that was quite high. Mm -hmm. um, we decided instead because we were able to pull a line of credit from our property in Vancouver for a lower rate. So mm -hmm. we actually decided to put in a 50% down payment. Wow. So we have, yeah, we have a lot of money in this, in this so deal. So your plan is to force fix it, fix this up? And fix then it up and then refinance it as soon as possible. Um, we gave ourselves a six month timeline to finish these four units, rent them out. Mm -hmm. And then there's three occupied units right now that awesome. we're going to work with the tenants to hopefully um, have them move out within the next kind of three months or so and mm -hmm. then get those units done um, and then refinance within six months. And I know you did one more cool thing about appraisal. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so I, uh, this is honestly more for my own sanity to know that I, so basically when we, the bank obviously asked for an appraisal yeah. and instead of just getting the ass, the current value, we mm -hmm. also get it as stabilized or right, as sort of after renovation value. Um, which fortunately we got, I think it was $1.75 million. 1.75? Yes, which is a huge lift compared to what we paid for and what we're going to be putting into the building, which wow. is fantastic. So that means you already have the appraisal value in hand. Yes. So you got it for 1.1, you're going to put in another 130. Yeah. In the worst case scenario, 150. Something so you're like at like 1.25. Yeah. And wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, if everything goes going to plan it, this could, this could be a really good deal for us. So I'm really excited about it. So now you're living in Windsor and you're taking care of all this project. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm I wouldn't say I'm living here full time, but I'm gonna be here for the next 
two to three months okay. to oversee the renovation process for these four units to make sure everything goes smoothly because as you know, contractors, sometimes they could take longer than what they really yeah, yeah. need. Um, but if you're here all the time to oversee the whole thing, sure. make sure nobody is slacking off or whatever, I think it could make the process a lot smoother. So yep, um, yep. I understand not, I'm unfortunate that I, I can afford to do this. I know a lot of people can't, but uh, this would this really helps. I think the whole oh man, that, that's really, uh, the, the way you guys planned it, I'm very impressed with it. Yeah, thank so, you, thank you. What do you really like about this building? Well, so this building, honestly, uh, you, obviously you know this, but... No, I mean, I know it, but I you, want you to tell it. You know this, but like, we, when we first came to Windsor, our plan wasn't to buy an apartment building. We were gonna try out a single family <laughs> home, because I saw, you know, the numbers, you can buy a house here for 280 grand or something like that, or 300 grand obviously unheard of back where I, I live in Vancouver. You can't even buy a parking stall for, for that much. So, um, so we were gonna be like, okay, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna put in $50,000 and try it out, see if we like the city, see if the numbers work out. Um, but funny enough, when we, were, when we were driving to meet you the first time, we drove along this street, we were on Riverside Drive, which is uh, that was the first time we drove on it. And we we're like, oh, that's a beautiful street. It would be nice to own a property here. And then we weren't even supposed to talk about that, but I just decided to bring it up. Like, oh, we drove by this really nice street. And then it just so happens, you mentioned you have a listing here um, or you, you, you had a buyer here that, that is going to back out and this might be a, uh, available. Yep. And so that's how it came about. So really, it, it, it's a chance. It's a chance thing. We, we weren't looking to buy something this expensive here. In a million years, I didn't expect to purchase this, this big of a project in a city that I've never been to until two months ago. <laughs> But like I said, the numbers really made sense. It was the numbers that really, really pushed us to... How about location? And the location, <laughs> and this view. This, I, 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 think, I think the other thing is I like is, I think this whole Riverside Drive is really underutilized, the way yeah. they planned it. it you know, any, any major city, you go to Toronto, you go to Vancouver, any, any street with a view like that is filled with condo towers. Man, that's one thing I think winds are gonna have, like, you know, slowly, yeah. people are pouring in money. Did you see the power building just, uh, Right off, um, uh, after you pass by Gladstone. Uh, is it the CBC? Which one is it? No, CBC is the uh, towards west, but okay. east there okay. is a power building that used to sit vacant, like gutted project for years, and a, a big developer took it. Now it's a beautiful oh, it's commercial office building. Yeah, office oh, building yeah, yeah, I've seen that, that was yeah. recently done. Oh no way! I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, and recently I saw a news. Um, again, they're still in the application process, mm -hmm. trying to get. 1400 condo units in downtown that's crazy so something like that can push the city like riverside uh, up flip absolutely and when developers come the first thing they'll be attracted to is, is the is the water view that, water, that's yeah, where everyone yeah, wants yeah. so there is only limited land for water view. exactly so i think i think long term this is going to be a good asset to hold um you know even if it doesn't if a developer doesn't come we we'll still have a really good piece of yeah. asset that we hold. So can you show us something that, uh, other than the units, anything yeah. else that you're planning to do in the yeah, building? Yeah, so right off the two one bedrooms in the basement, it's actually this, what currently is a really nasty dungeon-like laundry room. Nasty. Um, <laughs> yeah, nasty to say the least. It's, yeah, uh, it is nasty. <laughs> there's spider webs everywhere, the floor is gross the wall color is gross the just look at this the so tub here is nasty these machines are probably 30 years old what are you planning to do here so what we're planning to do here is obviously we're going to put a new laundry machine mm -hmm. this place nice we're going to paint the entire wall and the ceiling a different color we're most likely going to go with a dark gray color yeah and make this a cozier space so i want this to be a common space that people actually want to come down and, and, and hang out in not just a laundry room um, and then the floor, we're gonna put some nice epoxy flooring on here. So it's yeah. stuff that you see some people do in garages. Yeah, yeah. So nice, make it a light gray color here, and then the wall and the ceiling is gonna be a dark gray color. Um, and then this couch was actually from one of the, the, the two bedroom unit. <laughs> the tenants left it there, and I'm like, that's in pretty good shape. So, I so, might, <laughs> so my plan is actually to just like, once we're done everything, we're gonna put it here. Oh, so people can say that. <laughs> they can like go on their phone or something, 
Um, Pretty smart. <laughs> yeah. So now we say, I was actually going to buy a couch here anyway, so I was like, you know what, this is not a, it's in pretty good shape. <laughs> Why not reuse it? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Make sure you, you have to sanitize it. <laughs> yes, yes, I will. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, man. Um, so uh, I, I'm, I definitely want to come back and make more videos on this one, yeah. a progress and also sure. once everything is done. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully everything goes well. Um, we anticipate the renovation for these four units to finish in about it's a tight timeline, but we're hoping to get everything done before December first, so we can mm. get new tenants in. Wow, for the December four units. 1st. Yeah, which we only really have about three, three and a half weeks to do. Yeah, I want to give my property manager at least a week, week and a half, two weeks to to, to find the Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's a plan because as you, everyone knows, once you get into December, people are not going to be working as hard. Christmas coming up and yep. New Year. So that's why I really want to push push hard to get everything done um, before December 1st. Man, kudos to you. I really mean it because, you Thank know, you. I know this is not a small project. Yeah. And you didn't mention actually I, what you told me off the camera was like, it's all your savings. Yeah, yeah, we're we're all in on this. It's uh, <laughs> it's scary, but again, it's it's one of those things where if the numbers make sense, sometimes you just gotta take that leap of faith yeah. and and do it. Right? I'm pretty sure, man, you're gonna make it a killing on this one. Already, you have the numbers in hand. Yes. With appraisal and everything, so good luck with every all the renovations. Thank you. And I'm gonna see you. Once in a while, check Absolutely. out to see how you're doing. Come back anytime. Guys, thank you so much for hopping on. If you yes. guys have any questions, actually, leave in the comments below. We'll, I'll make sure get some answers from Adrian and uh, get answers. And how can guys find you? Like, you know, to check you the know, progress. Do you put on Instagram you know, I'm, I'm or Facebook? One, I'm one of those guys that don't really have Do social like a media. Social, I don't have Okay, okay. I'll, I'll make the social media guy. for him. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you, man. Yeah. See you guys later.